This is skill number five, catheter care on a female, along with hand washing. Hi, my name's Jeanette. I'll be your nurse's aide today, and I'm here to help you with your catheter care. First, I'm gonna sanitize my hands. I'll make sure that I've collected all my supplies for this skill. You're going to need gloves, a basin of warm water, some soap, two washcloths, one towel, a bath blanket, and a waterproof pad. So I've collected my supplies. I'm gonna provide for privacy. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put this side rail up. You have the option of you can either put the side rail up or you can ask the RN observer to come over and stand on the opposite side of the bed where you're working. So make sure you're aware of that so you can utilize that if necessary. I'm gonna put this bed up to a good working height, which is mid thigh to waist level. And we've pulled our privacy curtain. I won't pull it too far because I want you to be able to watch. I'm gonna take my bath blanket. I usually only unfold it to about half, put that on the top half of my resident. And now I'll put my gloves on before I go any further. And of course, when you're on camera, they don't wanna go on correctly. Okay, I'm gonna take your sheet and blanket, band fold it down to about their waist, make sure they're covered. Now I'm gonna put their waterproof pad on them. You're gonna have one side that's absorbent and one side that's waterproof. You want the absorbent side going towards your resident. I usually roll it about in half. assist our resident to roll over, making sure we're trying our best to keep them covered. Tuck that underneath of them. Okay, go ahead and roll back towards me. out from under them so that we're not causing any friction. Okay, now we can expose the area that we're gonna be tending to, their perineal area. I'm gonna visualize this catheter tubing and I'm gonna say that it is uh, free of kinks and that the urine is flowing freely. I'm gonna take my first washcloth. Add some soap. You have to make sure that you're using a different spot on the washcloth for each wipe. So what I like to do is fold it in quarters you have to make sure that you're holding close to the urethra and I'll clean like a clock face, 12 to six down. I'm gonna flip it over so I have a different, the other side of the washcloth so it's clean. I'm gonna do 12 to six around the catheter insertion site again. Then I take it, completely fold it in half. Wipe down about three to four inches. Flip to the other side wipe down three to four inches. Then this can go into my dirty linens. Oops, making a mess. And we are going to rinse in the same manner. Take your washcloth, fold it in quarters, 12 to six around, flip it over, 12 to six around, flip it in half, three to four inches down, 
other side, three to four inches down into our dirty linens. Then I'll take my towel. And I'll pat dry three around one side, 12 to six, flip, pat dry, 12 to six, inside out, three to four inches down, other side, three to four inches down. You need to make sure that you're never tugging on that catheter tubing, so be careful of that. Um, so now I've dried that, that's went in my dirty linens. Cover them up to provide for their privacy. I'm gonna roll them towards me and tuck this waterproof pad back under them. Then I can roll them away from me. And remove it. That'll go in our dirty linens as well. Pull the other blanket and sheet up. Remove our bath blanket. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bed down so that your resident is in a safe position. Put this side rail down if you have utilized it. Open the privacy curtain. Is there anything else that you need? No? Okay, let me give you your call light. Remove my gloves, grab in the palm of your non-dominant hand, pull it straight off. That way you're not touching the inside. Take your thumb up under the remaining glove and pull that inside as well, inside out. Um, at this point, I'm going to take my soap, put it back in the supply cabinet. I'll take this wish with me to wash, rinse, and dry out, and I have to do my hand washing. Like I said, I would want to wash, rinse, and dry this and put it away. Adjust my water to a comfortable temperature. Wet my hands and my wrists. Apply my soap. You want to interlace in between your fingers. Make sure you're scrubbing your fingernails against your palms. Get up onto your wrist. This whole process needs to take at least 20 seconds. And then we'll rinse. Don't flick your fingers as much as you want to. Clean dry paper towel to shut your water off. 